Last time we left off with moving the machine manually. Now we're going to wire it up so that it can move on its own. First thing we're going to do is install the limit switches. These keep the machine from running into the rails. I accidentally installed this one upside down, but we will fix it in a later step. We'll do the same thing for the X and Z axis limit switches. They both install a little differently. Here's the Z axis. It uses a full plate. And then we can go ahead and get the standoffs installed on the actual Z axis. Leaving a little wiggle room helps line things up and makes the install a little easier of the Z axis plate. We can do the same thing using some standoffs on the X axis and then the same on the Y axis as well. You can see where I fixed it there and moved the limit switch the correct direction. You can see how it butts up against the rail. Now it's time to focus on wiring. This is where it'll be a little bit different for XL and XXL machines. The smaller standard size doesn't use a drag chain and the control board mounts on the back instead of on the side. Labeling all the connectors with the corresponding axis will make the wiring assembly much, much easier. Use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to prepare for the zip tie hold downs. Then just go ahead and start securing the wires on each side using the limit switch and the stepper motor we can get that secured then you make a bundle using all of the wires about every four inches putting a zip tie there to make wiring a little bit easier and keep things nice and tidy now we can install the connectors into their corresponding ports denoted on the board each one has a letter right above it making it pretty easy to install I went ahead and got a touch probe with this we'll be showing how to use the machine without it but I wanted to have one anyways this connector goes in on the board in the reserved spot we can go ahead and get all the zip ties trimmed off and the board installed using thumb screws on all three corners and then the last screw used is as a ground for the touch probe now that that's installed we can move the touch probe out of the way and secure those wires to one of the zip tie hold downs we can clean the underside of the control board using some rubbing alcohol again and then put some more zip tie hold downs to get all of the wires nice and secured up that way they are out of the way now we'll just install the usb cord and the power cord as well using a zip tie to hold them down and keep them out of the way with the wiring done we can now begin to work on squaring up the machine i'll measure from the corner of the wasteboard to the front rail on each side and make sure everything's nice and square this was within 1 16th of an inch so no adjustments were really needed we can go ahead and lock down all of the wasteboard screws to lock this in position i made a quick space block to set the rails parallel out of some scraps. Mine was just under an inch and a half tall. We're going to slide this between the rail and the wasteboard, pushing down if necessary, and then lock down the screws on all four sides, inserting the block under each rail. This ensures that the rails are parallel to the wasteboard and parallel to each other. As the gantry comes forward on each side, you can see that it touches the front and back rail from top to bottom on each side. This tells you that it's square. Next, tighten all of the V wheels using the eccentric nuts. Tighten until it's hard to stop the wheel when holding it with two fingers. There should be no front to back movement when the V wheels are properly tightened. The last part of the assembly is to go ahead and install the spindle. We're going to drop it into the spindle mount and then go back and forth between the bolts tightening them until they're both snugged up. Then attach the power cord to the top of the Z axis to keep it up and out of the way with the zip tie. I'll zip tie the included marker to the spindle and the machine is now ready for the hello world test that will run on part three of this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series so far and we hope to see you next time have a great day everybody